In this episode of the Get Fed Podcast, tune in as we discuss the difference between productivity and busy work and how to identify when somebody's just being busy and they aren't being productive. I'm JB, master presenter, former Fortune 50 sales executive, and your guide for everything sales and productivity. I'm the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, a clinical psychologist and your resident expert in behavior, mindset, and wellness. We hope you're hungry. It's time to get fed by JB and the doctor. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Get Fed Podcast. I'm JB, your host for the day, and we're here to talk about productivity versus being busy, but also how to identify when somebody isn't. Super grateful to have you here. If you haven't tuned in before, thanks for joining us. Do me a favor. Give us a like, subscribe, follow. We create this content for you. The more of you that do that, the more people we can impact, and that's very meaningful to us. If you're returning, thanks for joining us again. Productivity versus busy work. This is something that so many of us have a challenge with. This idea that I can spend every minute of the day working. I can feel like I've accomplished a ton and yet I've made zero traction towards my goals. So why is that? And equally as important, how do I identify when it's going on, whether it's for me or it's for somebody that's working for me. So we're gonna explore this from a few different angles. Uh, just a quick re reminder, everything we talk about here tends to be bite-sized, less than a few minutes if possible, really to the point. We wanna make sure that we're being as deliberate as possible with how you spend your time uh, and hopefully offering up a little bit of psychology behind this as well so you can understand better how your brain works or the brains of the people that you work with work. That's a lot of work. So let's be productive with it, shall we? No pun intended, kind of, very much so. All right, so let's talk about productivity versus work. What's the difference? Well, productivity is aligning towards a bigger vision. It's doing something with intent, which right away is a problem because for the vast majority of people, it's just, you know what? This is in front of me. You know what? This is in front of me. Oh, hey, this ball, squirrel, whatever is in front of me. And I just take things as they come which will keep you very busy. Unfortunately, busy doesn't mean much of anything because I can keep busy all day long, watch Netflix, I'm not gonna accomplish any of my goals. Productivity is all about alignment with the bigger vision. It means doing something with intent. It means being deliberate with our actions. It means actually slowing down, stepping back, thinking through what we need to do and then going ahead and doing it. That is productivity. So if the difference between busy and productivity is simply intention, how come so often we don't find ourselves productive? There tends to be a misunderstanding around what is the most important thing that needs to be done. This is like the Eisenhower matrix. For those of you who aren't familiar, this idea that I need to know what's not only important, but what's urgent what's important and not urgent, and what's not important and not urgent. If I can do that, I can probably really quickly figure out where I need to spend my time. Yet we don't do that, and it's because we're too busy. I think the real challenge here is we are in this culture of busy, and the culture of busy does not really uh, facilitate people stepping back, being intentional, and being deliberate. And it also recognizes when we may believe there's a lot more that we need to do than what we really need to do. So for example, a business in growth mode, really the only thing that probably needs to be done is sales. And if sales need to be done, then what actions lead to sales? Those three actions are the three things you do. Anything else really isn't a priority and it's not urgent. Uh, that might be oversimplifying. I think you get my point. A lot of times we try to add all these things onto our plate and say, need to do this, need to do this, need to do this. And it's almost a way of procrastination and avoiding the productive work. Uh, for any number of reasons, we might be doing this, but to be productive, we need to be very intentional. We need to know what the priorities are that are urgent and important. And if we can do that, we can be productive. So the best way to do that is to plan, to plan annually, to plan quarterly, to plan monthly, to plan weekly, and to plan daily. I, If you are feeling like that sounds nuts because you're not a planner, I get it. But we can train ourselves to be anything. And if you label yourself, and this is psychology here, if you're labeling yourself as a non-planner, you're labeling yourself as somebody that can't look that far forward, you're doing yourself a disservice because you're creating that reality. And it's not the case. We are all 
capable of doing something like this. And so to plan and to be intentional allows us to prioritize and make sure that whatever our tasks are today are on point for addressing the week, are on point for addressing the month, the quarter, the project, the year, so on and so forth. That is how you turn from productive to from work. That's the key. So how do I identify when somebody I'm working with, where I have somebody working for me, how do I identify when they're not being productive? And this is a challenge that's super common in, in small businesses. How do I, how do I get the most value from my employees? And the truth is, if you don't have a really strong process and standard operating procedures, if, if the role itself isn't plug and play, where anybody from the outside can come in and have somebody walk them through quickly, uh, something written out that, that tells them exactly how they need to spend their time to be productive for that role. If that does not exist, and let's be honest, a lot of times it doesn't exist. That's when we see people just work and not be productive. And there are so many ways to work and feel like you're justified in what you're doing. And you're not, you're not. I experienced this firsthand as a kid. I remember my first corporate job. I would show up early. Uh, I didn't have anything else going on in my life. I'll show up early. The problem was that I wasn't being productive. In fact, I was reducing everybody else's productivity because I just wanted to chat with people and, and hang out. And I had my manager come up to me and he said to me, um, you're not allowed to come in early anymore. Uh, you're not working. You're not doing anything. And I find even today, it's very easy to say, hey, I'm going to get up super early. I'm going to get started on my day. I'm going to I'm going to be this or that. And then the time isn't used productively. So we have to be intentional. And if we're going to do things, the more intentional we are, the better we are. The easiest way to be intentional, again, is to plan. And when we plan to put something in writing like this, for those of you that are watching, that tells me exactly what my goals are for the week and for the month, the quarter, the project, the year, so on and so forth. I know I'm repeating that, but I'm doing it on purpose. I want it to really sink in. If we plan long term, we can break that down into shorter term, into projects, into the week. And then my day becomes really clearly defined because I just need to see what are my goals? What are my projects? What have I done? What I have not done? And anything else, you know, arguably, it should get pushed to the side. It's not to say that things don't pop up that need to move on to that urgent and important list and will shift how you spend some of your time. But very often and frequently, if we just do the planning, it's there. So that's how we identify it. Now, I'm curious. It's never one size fits all. I'm curious how you have found the best way to be productive is and what other tips or meaningful insight could you provide to the community? We'd love to hear from you. And if you do provide it, I'll be sure to highlight that the next time I get up here and host one of these bad boys. I hope you found this helpful. It's something that was on my mind. If you did, you're still listening, you joined us and you stuck through it. Thank you. Give us that like, subscribe, follow if you haven't. We would love to grow this thing beyond our wildest imagination because we love to impact people and provide support. Look forward to hearing from y'all. I'm JB. I'm out.